What's up guys, Reefer NYC back with another video and today we are doing the long awaited update on the Waterbox 105.4 frag tank. Um, I think the tank is about six months old by now, six or seven months old. But yeah, let's get into the tank, jump into it, see what's going on, see what's not working, see what is working, and any new updates on this tank. But yeah, basically tank is flourishing. Um, had a few rough patches, like maybe like last month, there was like a little bit of an alkalinity swing. Some of the corals browned out, but looks like some of the corals have bounced back already. Um, got some new pickups, as you can see. Got a lot of frags on the on the sand bed. I don't really like that, but I got some new frag racks from Ocean Box Designs. I'm uh, gonna show you what they're all about, but also got my new Colorado Sunburst. He's looking a little droopy right now, but usually he's out and about. It's only about uh, 11 o'clock right now. So let's see, got my LPS, got a bunch of frags on the bottom, Alvapores, Ghanis, you name it, it's in here. Um, I did a little change to my water flow. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it on my Instagram story, but I was telling you guys like my LPS were like super puffy and branching out. Um, these used to be like a little shriveled up a little bit, but I changed my water flow pattern so that during the day it's lower flow. So everything's super extended, everything is flowy and you know, not being pounded by water. And during the night, I turn it up a bit higher. So right now, maybe it's about like 35% throughout the day. And then during the night, we'll do, we'll bump it up to like 45 to 55% during the night. Um, so it flushes out all the detritus and all that kind of bad stuff. But um, I'm just looking at my purple tank, picking at stuff. But yeah, it's been working well. I've been doing this for about a month now and seen tremendous uh, kind of ex polyp extension. I mean, you don't have to follow my ways, but uh, I think it works for this tank, especially when your tank is a mixed reef. I mean, if you're an SPS dominant, of course, blast it with flow and everything, but these SPS towards the top, they're not really high demand uh, for, they're really hardy and not really high demanding as far as flow goes and parameters. They can pretty much withstand a lot of uh, beating. So with the lower flow, it still hits the top. So I have the two Nero 5s on top, but also the two um, return pump uh, outlets on top as well. So basically four kind of ways the water's hitting the tank. Um, let's see what else. Trying to get my Zoa Garden all happy. Acan Garden is looking real nice. Um, added a bunch of frog spawns over here. Uh, got the Recordia Garden down there. But yeah, gonna have to clean up all these uh, frags on the bottom. Uh, if you saw my last video, these are the 3D printed frag holders. Highly recommend. Uh, I put the link in the description of where I got them from, from Printed Reef. Highly recommend. Uh, they get the Ghanis off of the floor, get any of your frag on the floor. But also, I'm not the biggest fan of frag racks in general, but I want them, I gotta figure out a way to clean up the sand bed. So I got a bunch of these um, frag racks from Ocean Box Designs. Uh, basically, they're clear acrylic, so they're not really, you know, distracting the tank from what it is. So I'm probably gonna set up all of my frags on this side. Basically, magnetic works on a half inch thick glass, which this is. Um, so let's try these out and see how that looks like later on. But overall, uh, very happy with where the tank is right now. Uh, just did some testing. We're about um, 9.5 on alkalinity, 1500 on magnesium, and I think 450 on calcium. So everything's looking good. And my pH hovers around 7.9 to 8.1. Um, let's see what else. But yeah, the tank's looking real good. Um, nothing too crazy going on. At this point, I'm seeing a lot of my frags especially the SPS and crust all over the rock, um, especially this Alcorn SPS right here. It's encrusted all over um, this SPS on top. I'm not sure which one that is, but as you can see, like it's browned out a little bit, but it's recovering already. Um, got the rainbow right here. It's all encrusted onto the, the frag plug. Obviously we got the button scully. If my fish moves, moves it, move out of the way, there you go. There you go, move out of the way. Got the button scully right there. A lot of digitatas, forest fire digitatas. 
Uh, they're already encrusted all over the rock too. Um, of course, the green slimer. The green slimer is pretty much my my tell all of how the tank is doing. If that browns out, there's definitely something going on with the tank. If it's fully green, then we're in a good we're in a good position right now. But um, got the clams, clams right here, super nice clams from Algae Barn. If you go to Algae Barn, use my coupon Reefer NYC uh, ten to get ten percent off livestock. And if you use Reefer NYC coupon code on Algae Barn, you get uh, fifteen percent off. So definitely check that out. Uh, I got that from Manhattan Aquarium. It was only one mushroom split into three within like a week, which is really cool. Um, of course, we got the bouncing mushrooms. We got Ghani's olive porch. Just closed that rental because I was messing around with them. We got the shroom cage from Printed Reef as well. Got a bunch of frags. And honestly, just like a bunch of frags everywhere. I need to clean them up. Hopefully, the, uh, the frag racks can help me out with that. I do like the clear design, so hopefully it's not too distracting when I take pictures and videos, and it'll just give it a clean look uh, on the glass. Let's see what else is hiding in here. Got the Monty Cap, Monty Cap's growing like crazy. LA Lakers scroll. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any comments, any questions, let me know, of course. Uh, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. If you can't reach me on YouTube, you can also reach me on Instagram at reefer underscore NYC. Uh, my DMs are pretty much flooded, so if you leave a comment uh, on the post rather than DMing, that would probably be better, so I can see them and everyone else sees your question too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this tank. Oh, one more thing. Let me just jump down here real quick. So a quick update on the mangroves. Let's see if these lights turn on. I think I they might be off. Anyways, so the mangroves are growing really nice in this tank. Um, you can see. New leaves are all yellow. The brown, the brand new ones are all yellow, which is really good. Uh, Chato has really taken off in here. I may need to trim it back a bit. Probably give some weight to my friends. Um, did a quick clean of the Simplicity Skimmer. The skimmer is a beast. Honestly, like I cleaned it out. Everything was looking real good. Uh, no issues with that. So it's already starting to skim again. Um, what else do we got? We got the dosing in here, dosing all for reef, um, chemical, is it chem? Supplement, um, basically controls my alkalinity, calcium, magnesium. Uh, I dose, what is it, where am I at right now? I believe I'm at like 40 milliliters a day. I have to check on that, but around there, that uh, keeps my calcium, that keeps my alkalinity at about 9.5, which is great for me. I was trying to get my alkalinity to about 10, 9.510 is around my ballpark. Um, I don't run any filter socks. I have the cubes. I have other stuff in there. I don't do filter socks. I just don't like cleaning anything. Um, of course, we got the Hydros controller. Going to be installing, this is the XPA and X4, but also going to be installing a new wave pump on the back of my tank. This is the Hydros wave engine. Uh, gonna be putting this onto the tank as well. Where do I have it? It's over here. This is the wave pump, as you can see right here. Really cool. Uh, there's a bunch of videos on it. I just love the angle that it can produce. Basically, if I put it on a tank, it's not shooting straight. It can be angled like a lot of different ways, just because of how strong the magnet is. So it can be positioned different ways. Um, but yeah, plumbing, as you can see, no drips, no leaks, all is good. There's my lights. I think those need to be recharged. Um, we've got the Illimagic Blaze or Fugium light. We also got the Illimagic X4s with the vitamin E strips. The strips turn on around 12, so about an hour or so. Um, I was looking at the dimensions for this sump because I feel like I need a bigger, not a sump, uh, Auto Tahoe Reservoir. Um, this one's about a 10 gallon reservoir. I was thinking about getting a 15 gallon one to see if five gallons more would make a difference. It probably would, but then I don't even know if it fits in this space. I really have it like nicely set up and everything. Don't really want to mess with it, but um, overall, this is doing great. No issues, no leaks, perfectly fine. It's just that if I go on a vacation about a week or two, this will not last for this tank, especially during the summer uh, when I have my fans on and evaporation is higher. But let's see what else we got. Uh, took off the lids right now. These are the top lids, uh, lids for my tank. I'll have to go on top, no issues, everything's cut out, no fish have jumped out or died because of that. So all good on that. But yeah, 
I think that does it for the quick little update on this tank. Wow, we're at about 10 minutes already. But guys, thanks for watching. We're gonna put on these uh, frag racks later on. Probably do a separate video to see how they look or just put them on uh, for my next update and you'll see. But uh, thanks guys for watching. Appreciate all the love and support. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.